everyone uh, welcome back to our channel uh, it's been a long time and after a long time i'm starting another tutorial uh, for uh, uni basic uh, uni data programming okay uh, i will be sharing another tutorial for uh, universe programming uh, which is also known as uni basic programming okay so before i start uh, i hope you might have subscribed to our channel uh, if you know if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and support this channel Okay, uh, so today I'll be talking about uh, the phantom process uh, in UniBasic, which is very useful. Okay, uh, so let's start and we'll try to understand what it is. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, session uh, where I have uh, Universe installed, UniBasic installed. Okay, so what uh, when we talk about phantom like uh, in UniBasic, what it is and uh, what it is used for. Okay, so so basically phantom is useful uh, when uh, you want to run a process for a longer period of time and when you want to uh, uh, monitor it uh, from uh, from you know uh, background like if the process has to be run and you don't need to wait for it to complete and you can uh, parallelly work on something else okay so at any time if you want you can always uh, refer the help section which is uh, can be seen in your uh, <coughs> university call okay so just you need to type help phantom <coughs> so this will give you a uh, detailed description about what is phantom and all okay so uh, we are going to see a live live example of this okay <coughs> so so phantom is used to start a process in background and this is the syntax of phantom so basically you are running a command but uh, when you are running a command before that use a phantom and that will take this prog program in background okay and then you can <clears throat> monitor it uh, from the logs okay so uh, and uh, any any program that you run through through phantom is uh, <clears throat> can be seen in in uh, the type 1 m person ph m person file okay uh, so yeah so it, it always uh, stores uh, an output uh, in 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 the ph file okay so yeah so you can see here so any anything any program that you want to run you have to run uh, using this syntax called uh, phantom space the the program name okay so i'm going to show you how to do that and this is the uh, record id which will be created <coughs> in the phantom in the type 1 ph file okay so which through, through which you can understand the the progress of the file uh, the program okay so uh, and and now wh why is why the phantom is uh, needed okay so when you are running a small program which takes less than uh, one minute or less than 30 seconds you don't need to use phantom okay you can simply run it and wait for it to finish but if a program takes five hours or six hours or or more than that you know and then you don't you cannot wait for it to finish and then you can start another work in that cases you can use always phantom so you can use uh, the phantom program to start that process and it will run somewhere in the background and when it finishes uh, you can always get to know and also uh, at any point you want to see the progress you can always look into the m person ph m person file so that's where the phantom comes into picture okay let's let's see let's try to understand this uh, using some examples so, okay so let's say i have a program uh i have written it uh, let's say this is my program okay so this is a simple program which requires no input and this is a uh, you know just simple run program so if i run this so if you see uh if i run this what is happening is simply running uh you know the, and displaying the 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 output okay so yeah so now let's say uh, I'm just giving a very small example and I will not talk about how to write a program or how to compile a program because I have already covered all those things in my in my previous videos okay so so to run this program through phantom all you have to do is run uh, phantom space then the uh, the brief or squack so what is brief so if you run brief it will uh, suppress the uh, output any direct output coming from the from the phantom process okay yeah so and uh, there is one more thing called squack s q u a w k so what it does is uh, when you run phantom without uh, squack 
so it is uh, not it will not display the record id any kind of record id which is created in the ampersand ph file let me just show you okay so phantom and how do you run this so you'll simply say run bp okay and then the program name so basically your command will remain the same and we the command is prefixed by the phantom okay so if you run this see what is happening phantom process started and you do, did not get anything on the console everything is gone and it only says the uh, the phantom process started but there is one problem and now you will have to look into the uh, ampersand ph ampersand file for the log right but i don't know what is the record id and and you know there are thousands of programs which are run through phantom and it will be difficult for you to decide uh, which one is the your which one is having the output of this phantom so always it is uh, you know prescribed uh, to use uh, phantom along with the uh, squack option s q u a w k so what it does it will uh, run the command along with a message that says that the the record id has been created in the ph file so now it is very easy to go and check the progress or any kind of output from the program in the ph file using this record id okay so you don't need to look for you know search for that so this is the record id see this is the output of the program okay now this is very simple and very small program and look it doesn't make any difference because it takes less than uh, one second to complete the program but i just gave an example now if let's say if it takes five hours or ten hours or six hours to complete sometimes you know, batch processes so in that case you can always uh, make use of this phantom okay now let now this program was <coughs> not accepting any input let's take another example where the program asks for an input okay so i have one more program written here so this is a program which is simply doing something and then it is it is requires uh, some input also like it is accepting a name okay now what is happening when you run a program using phantom it cannot accept input from the terminal but what if you want to run a program which is a long uh, time consuming process and it also needs some input so in that case how will you use phantom in that case you can use always uh, using the data statement okay so what you have to do you have to write a paragraph okay and through paragraph you can always pass the uh, the uh, data okay so let's say para 1 or para 2 something like that <clears throat> okay so i'm writing a voc so here what is happening so at my first line always the paragraph starts with a pa okay and then uh, yeah so uh, basically my screen is going down so uh, I will just save it and then I'll clear my screen so that I go on the top and then I say dot x sorry dot x2 yeah so this is my first line and then what I have to do I, I can run the program which is shan uh, 2 right which was accepting an input now in this case I know that this program will ask for an input so what i will do i will pass an input using the data statement and let you want to enter anything let's say john okay so now this will pass the input okay so now if you run this program without phantom what is happening see it is uh, running and then it is asking something like what's your name so i say i say i say john okay and it is saying hi john okay so this is how you run a program directly but if you want to run it through phantom and also uh, we are aware that this program is asking for an input then how do we do that that is the example that is the, uh, what i am going to show you so here what, are you, what you need to do you need to do phantom and the command so command can be anything you know it, it can be a run command or it can be a paragraph or anything okay so basically now i'm going to run this this para so which is para 2 so para 2 has what it is running the program along with it is asking for an input so now see when i run this okay it where it started a process but then i 
I don't know where it uh, record, the record has been created. I can search, but always I prefer using uh, Phantom uh, Brief, not Brief, S Q U A W K. Okay, Para Two. Okay, so when I do this, see, I got a record ID now. It, it's very easy for me to tra trace that log in the PH file. And when I see this, see. What is happening? What's your name? So I passed uh, John, which was already passed in the in your in your paragraph. So I don't need to uh, pass anything. So you cannot pass anything to a, a phantom process. It, you have to pass it through the paragraph or something. So now it is passed, and see, it has been run through. Okay. So we saw two things. We saw to run a program, which is a, which does not require any input, uh, but it takes time. So we can run it through Phantom. Also, if you want to run a program which takes input and if we want to run it through Phantom, that is also achievable. So we can do it through the data statement. So this is what I wanted to explain in this tutorial. Uh, through, so like how we can make use of Phantom and uh, we can uh, improve our work. Okay, so that's all in this tutorial. And I hope you might have liked it. Uh, please share if you like it. And uh, thank you for watching.